Hey guys! Uh, this week is a little bit different for me, so I'm going to be doing just sort of a plan with me um, for this upcoming week. I'm going to be taking like a business trip for a company meeting in Las Vegas. So I'm going to be gone for a good chunk of the week. So I'm not going to have as many things or I'm not going to have like time at home in the evenings to get things done like around the house. So I don't need the room to put quite as many to-dos. So um, I'm gonna sort of give this uh, a different layout than I usually do or than I have been doing recently. So I have some ideas. Uh, let's start just with a little bit of washi tape for color. I'm leaving on Tuesday afternoon. I'm coming back Thursday evening. I'm gonna do this carefully without cutting my elastics and also without taking it out. I didn't mention oh, I did the direction. I didn't mention, um, and some of you eagle-eyed viewers may have noticed that I moved out of my speckled fonts temporarily. I'm in uh, this Pemberley Angel, Shakespeare Pemberley Angel pocket size classic with stitching and pen loop. Um, this is like the notebook I've been looking for um, and I saw it on the buy sell trade and I jumped at it. Um, this is right after I had bought the speckled fonts and then I um, decided to take out the bible study insert that I had been using which is like really thick um, so that I could fit in here and I've just sort of been using that one separately um, and yeah just really enjoying this like I moved in I was gonna be like in here for like three days and then move back out um and i stayed because i love it <laughs> anyway so my plan here is to grab a ruler i have a ruler around here somewhere this will do my plan is to actually make like a grid of calendar days on this page and then sort of general to do's on this page and we'll see how that works so I've got to count this out. So bear with me. I'm not going to speed things up and you get to watch how this really goes. I'm going to start up here, obviously. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Look at that. Four squares per day. That's easy. Perfect. Alright, so we're just going to make these boxes. I'm using my Stabilo fine liners. This color is number. Is that how that works? Number 8826. I don't want to get this wrong. Okay, yeah. Excuse me. Uh, 88 is the size and 26 is the color. So there you go, if you're looking for this one. It's like the lightest pink kind of color. I thought it would go well with this washi tape. And it's not particularly pink actually. It's more like an apricot color. don't use a lot of color or a lot of yeah like these pens I don't use very often in my journal like I don't write with these colors usually except for headers so I don't color code I, I've kind of talked about this previously in other videos that like I don't color code stuff um, like per task Sometimes I, like occasionally I've color coded stuff, but not on like a day to day to do list basis. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. All right. 
I'm gonna make a column for to do's on one side and for events on the other. So um, I'm just gonna eyeball it. Pick one side and we'll put more more room for events because why not? That's why I'm not splitting up the weekend. I'll be home by the weekend, and I have lately been just using one to-do list for the whole weekend and that's been working really well for me. Um, it, on the, the con side of that is that you tend to um, get maybe less done on a Saturday unless you're feeling super motivated because you're like, oh, well, I still have the rest of the weekend to get this stuff done. But on the other hand, maybe you can work ahead if you're feeling for, I don't know. That didn't really, kind of skipped a little bit there. Mm. There we go. And I'm gonna split my Saturday and Sunday to uh, events and leave the to-dos in one big square. So there we go. Um, I need a different color. Go with the green, maybe? This one will match okay. Now let's see, this... What's the date? The 12th. Monday the 12th. 12, 13. So I just have some stuff, uh, let me see, should I just use the same washi tape? Suppose I should. Yeah, let's just use the same washi tape, okay. If I can find the end of it. Man, how do you find the end of the washi tape? Here it is. Here it is. Okay, uh, so I'm leaving Tuesday afternoon and coming back Thursday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday evening. So I'm gonna grab this knife. I'm gonna put this and see if this works. Eh, eh. No, you know what? I'm gonna use the ruler. It's flatter. There we go. And then come back Thursday evening. So roughly there. Ah, come on. There we go. Well, it's not perfectly straight, but no one will ever notice. Okay. So I'll put sort of as an event at 3 p.m. to airport. That's roughly the time I'm going to grab a lift to the airport. And then should We've roughly, I'll say roughly 5.30 land. And so I know that we've got, put it in here, here. Eight to five meetings. It's gonna be super fun guys, Vegas baby. Eight to five meetings. And we've got a seven o'clock dinner. Yeah, I am not the kind of person who like enjoys taking risks with money 
or socializing with people I don't know very well for extended periods of time. And I'm gonna be there with just me and coworkers. So it's, uh, yeah, not especially looking forward to it a whole bunch. It'll be fine. So if I come up with anything that needs to like get done, um, that, or anything that I can get done, like in the hotels in the evenings on my phone or something, I'll add that here. But like here, I need, I'm gonna put a star inside. I need to pack. That's the most important thing I need to do on Monday. Um, then, yeah, I don't even know. I think Friday, the thing that needs to get done in the evening is baking. Because we're making some cookies to donate to the church for a bake sale on a Sunday. So we have to drop those off between 10 to 1. at the church on Saturday. And then that will be, uh, we'll get to, you know, go buy other baked goods. And we get these cannolis, they make cannolis like at home. Uh, it's, it's a St. Joseph's Day thing. So um, even though they're French cookies <laughs> that we're donating, the cannolis are Italian, made by Italian people and they're very good. I'm gonna, cannoli, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you guys are all right. I probably spelled it wrong too. It, the cannoli is the plural of, I'm assuming cannolo. I don't speak Italian. Whenever I pretend I know anything about Italian, I'm usually wrong. My experience is from Spanish and French and Latin, um, and there are similarities, but there are also differences, notable differences. All right. So yeah, I still have work on Monday, Tuesday, and Friday, but I'm not gonna put that because like I know that I have work and that's just normal. I don't know, maybe I'll decide that it would look better if I had it there. Uh, let's see. So yeah, one thing I have to do on Thursday is call my sister because it's, oh, wrong column. I'm leaving a column available to, to mark things as urgent or important. I'm going to call my sister because it's her birthday. And then, let's see, yep, that's it. That's pretty much it. All right, so I don't know if I've shown this, how I actually use this. Um, this, no, this one here. I posted a picture of this on my Instagram. I'm calling it listception because it's a list of lists. Basically every week, um, uh, you know how like you have different lists in different places of things that you need to get done and you always forget where those are or you forget to check them. Um, so this is the list that I go down and I look at all of these different lists when I make my to-do list every week. If that makes sense, let me show you. So for example, first thing, monthly calendar, which I just looked at, there's nothing, um, written hmm oh yeah there is okay i'm gonna change my razor so that i have a fresh razor to take with me and i have to follow up on rsvps for my sister's bridal shower in two weeks so those are some, that's like to do's for that week. Then there's to do's for the month. I was supposed to get the text paperwork together this weekend. I may still have time for that. Um, all right, so then next, chores list. That's this tab here. And you'll see, let's see. I did the sheets this month already. Um, I can add some of this stuff. But I don't really want to add a lot of like, these are the chores that need to get done sometime this year, sometime this month. I wanted to vacuum the couch cushions. Then these are the chores that need to get done 
once a month and I'm kind of I check them off and then erase it every month so I've done one of those and probably should do another but I don't want to add a lot of chores to this week because I won't be home really to do them and then this is the stuff that needs to get done during the or every week I can add that here to sort of clean house because that's what I usually do is just tidy up on the weekends like I clean the bathrooms on Friday night or Saturday depending on if I'm busy um, all right Let's see MH checklist so that's this one here for my uh, let's see I can kind of sw flip back to this as I go throughout the week as well I don't have to add all of these things there but for week three which is this week I do have to make sure to announce the um, uh, to announce that the the lesson is up and grade homework or no actually no this year is the year uh, my rotation for class where I don't have to grade homework in week three so I just have to sort of announce the lesson And then I'm going to add some stuff to this to-do list too. Over here, this is just stuff that needs to be done whenever. So class list, just want to make sure the new people haven't signed up. And if they have, make sure that they have the supplies they need. And yeah. Okay, next on the list list, baby insert. That's this one. Um, that's a reminder to check in every week on this guy. Um, and sort of fill in how is feeling week 23 just generally fine I don't know nothing really to report so let's see the what really needs to get done is I have sort of some monthly to-do lists here and I've mostly been doing pretty good actually so I've done everything for March and I'm not going to get ahead of myself, so that's fine. Next on the list list, YouTube schedule. So this week, I can cross off the video that went out yesterday. I'm filming this on sun Sunday, or went out today, sorry. I'm filming this on Sunday for the week ahead. Um, as you're watching this, I'm already in Vegas, as you see. So that's what I'm doing right here. And then I'm going to film something from the hotel room about how miserable and or not miserable I am. So look forward to that next Sunday. Um, and then I'm not going to get ahead of myself because I don't need to. But I would like to work on getting ahead. My plan uh, is to film ahead all of my Thursday videos for when I'm on maternity leave and those will be already done and uh, scheduled and ready to go out and then I'll just film a video every week that's like really low key and sort of a check-in on for my Sunday video and then all my Sims videos and my Thursday videos will just be releasing themselves um, so keep that in mind once uh, like July comes around so we're, we're good, we're, we're, we've worked ahead for the YouTube schedule, so we got that accounted for. And then I look at the someday maybe list, the waiting on list, and the project lists at the beginning of this insert. So someday maybe, I just, I read through these and remind myself of all the stuff that I'm not getting done. I'm not going to add any of these this week. There's nothing on my waiting on list. Uh, yeah, I just, I never think to use it. And then I'll just flip through here, scholarship, yeah, I want to keep discussing that. Some sewing stuff, but I'm not going to add that to my list this week because it's a different kind of a week. Videos, yeah, also not, not stressing. Let's see. Cup, oh yeah. It's all these projects. <laughs> this is the chess tournament on my Hogwarts 
I want another one of my matches. I'm just keeping track here of which ones I still am working on. Um, change of address. Mm. Those are some things I had made to make phone calls about. Page 16 has house projects. I think we're gonna work maybe on this one. Um, and then, but the, really that's Gino. And then the bridal shower is the big thing, but I already added that. I'm gonna be following up on RSVPs. Um, I'm gonna start on Monday, but continue all week. Basically texting people who haven't RSVP'd yet so that we can know how many people we need to feed. And I believe that that is it. So I think there's still room for a tracker down here. So let me grab this, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna do the tracker on the other side of the page for a change, just for fun. Um, like on here, over on the side instead of on the side. So what was I tracking last week? Vitamins, Bible study. I do need to work on the Bible study. All right, I'm gonna add Bible study to my tracker. No, I'm going to add that over here. I theoretically can do some of it maybe in the evenings. I'm going to be missing the actual Bible study event on Wednesday, but I can watch the video online. So I still want to do the homework. And then, um, so I'll just put it here, homework, and then Bible study video. We'll see when I have time for that. but I'll still go ahead and add it to my tracker as well to remind myself to do it. Search lotion wash face, yes. Good. Same stuff, same, same stuff. Trying to get myself into better habits and I've been like adding a new habit to my tracker every three weeks-ish. Like they say, it takes three weeks to form a new habit. So I've been doing pretty well with like remembering to put on lotion every night and to do my stretches for my neck every day. And mostly I've been doing it like right before bed. Bible study homework. And then this is the easy one. It's always nice to have at least one gimme on your tracker so you don't have a completely dead day. Vitamins are usually pretty easy to remember. Right. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll just make this grid. I'm just peasant wanting to be smooth today. I'm trying not to lean over, I bet you can still see me. I don't use my Pigma Microns that much either, really just for day to day, is it for my tracker? I actually, actually, you know what? I take that back. I use it for my daily headers um, because anything that needs to be highlighted over, like I like doing, this is upside down, but I like uh, highlighting my headers. Anything that needs to be highlighted over needs to kind of be a little bit waterproof and this ink is really good for that and this ink is not at all even after it's completely dry it's still really bad about highlighting over right Probably, uh, we'll see. I'm gonna try to go without doing dailies this week and see how I feel about just using this weekly grid. 
because I usually am a dailies person. I really like keeping track of which day I got something done, which is why even if, like I often use an Alistair to-do list, I haven't been lately, but, um, so like I'll migrate stuff from day to day. I've been trying to break myself of that habit and just crossing it off on the previous day if I get it done a day late. But maybe that's just pride and it makes it look like I got stuff done the day I wanted to. So now I have to decide which, yeah, I pretty much, I'm gonna use the green, the green mild liner to fill in these boxes. So I'll bring that with me. In my pen case, I usually bring one Pigma, and then I'm going to bring this one because I might be doing some video prep stuff and I want the red one for that. And I'm actually going to bring this along with me. Sort of packing here. I don't really need this Uniball Signo. I've been carrying it with me, but I don't particularly need it as often as I like to think I do. But that being said, it does work really well as white out. So just in case. All right, I will bring it. Why not? And then I just need a little bit more washi tape to sort of decorate here. What do I want to use? I mean, I don't want to use the same one again. I'm going to use this one. Sure, a little bit pink. It's shiny. Just to give me a little bit of a divider. Won't even go all the way across. And then there we go. That is our week, guys. I will see. Um, what did I have scheduled for next week? Hmm. We'll see. Maybe next week I'll just tell you what I did this week and if it worked or not. Um, otherwise, It'll be something else, so you'll just have to tune in and find out. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. I post three times a week, um, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!